now come to a housing site in Godham in Surrey to see the installation of the manhole cover. Paul, what are we looking at now? Tony, we're looking down at a storm drain here, uh, which has already been uh, prepped uh, for the bedding of a manhole cover and frame. What they've done, they've got two courses of engineering bricks. Um, you could use seating rings, which is 75mm, uh, to get the minimum requirement of 150mm before you bed the manhole cover and frame on top. So Paul, how do we begin the installation? Uh, we have Steve and Dan here who have prepared a high strength bedding mortar and are just about to bed the frame. So is the depth of the bedding mortar critical? Well, Tony, the minimum depth of the bed to go below the frame is 10 mil and the maximum is 40 mil. The guys are now going to position the frame. So, Paul, I'm guessing it's pretty obvious the frame's got to be positioned correctly. Yes, Tony. The frame must be fully supported and square to the manhole. Poorly positioned frames are the most common cause of failure. Steve has erected a string line to adjust the level. Steve is now going to remove the lines so he can haunch the side of the frame. The guys are now going to haunch the side of the frame. They have made sure that the holes in the side of the frame have been filled with mortar. This is to key the frame in position. The minimum requirement for haunching is 10 mil, but in this instance they're going to do 40 to 50 mil. Another essential part of the installation is there are no voids underneath the frame and the pointing is sound. And the frame now is fully seated and needs to just cure before they can place the cover and frame. Tony, we've now completed the installation of the manhole cover and frame. The cover has been put in place, the bedding mortar is now cured, and all we have to do now is wait 24 hours before we can traffic the manhole cover.